Welcome to Darko's Corner! So, what new movies have we gotten since last time? Well, we got a nice stack of movies here. And I don't think I've paid more than two bucks a piece at most. Some of them I paid only one buck a piece for, and they're brand new. Some of them are still sealed. I have opened them, but they're all brand new. No, no used movies here. So, first up, we got... Wanted. The light is over there, so I'm, I'm kind of shadowing myself here. So yeah, it's got this nice slip case here. This is part of the limited edition. I don't know what this is called, but it was called something. It was they put out a couple of these, especially limited editions, comic book related. Or not just comic book related, but the comic book panels on the front cover. What was it? It was this one, and it was like Terminator 2, and it was like Hellboy, a couple of others, the Hulk movies. So, yeah. Two bucks. Why not? Nice. I also paid two bucks for this, and I'm really glad I found this. And that is X, -File, X Files. Fight the future and I want to believe. So this is a double like a little slip case there. And you got the movies right there. So yeah, we have watched the is it the Fight the Future? Yeah, Fight the Future. And uh, it looks really good. The sound quality is pretty good too. I haven't watched the new one on Blu-ray yet, but <clears throat> oh it's the director's cut too. That's nice. So yeah, good find there. Next up we got a DVD. I don't like this movie but I can't help myself. It's stupid, it's corny, as has nothing to do with the anime but what the hell it's Dragon Ball Evolution. I like it. Yeah you like it. You like Batman and Robin. You are not sending me to the corner. So this is the Dragon Ball Evolution Z edition. So it is the uh, double disc. No, it's just the digital copy that that expired like 2011, September 2nd, 2010, even. So yeah, that's that's good. yeah. So that's a bad movie. Next, I've got another DVD. Something you really like? No. <laughs> no. It is a movie I haven't watched yet, but this is like the definition. Definition. This is the good version, probably, except for the Blu-ray. Uh, this is Kingdom of Heaven, the four-disc edition. Now there's a ridiculous amount of special features on here. Like oh, it's got a little slip slip case here. So. Disc 1 is the movie with some commentary tracks. Then we have three discs of special features like documentaries, featurettes, galleries, commentary tracks, another documentary, some more featurettes, deleted scenes, sound effects, special effects, trailers. Uh, the world premiere in London, New York, and Tokyo, and much more, so... God damn, that's a lot of special features for a movie I have never even seen. So, yeah, it's nice. It was a buck. So, that's kinda cute. So, more Blu-rays. <sighs> Just put these. First up, we got a movie that I paid... I didn't pay shit for this because my mother bought it for me. Uh, I haven't watched it yet because I went on IMDb after I bought it and then it got like three stars. So I'm waiting for a day when I'm totally bored and I want something to watch. And that is Punishment. It's a horror movie. Yeah. What can I say? I haven't watched it so I can't like... See if it's any good or anything. Next up, we got... No, actually... No. Uh, next up, we got S Still Sealed. 
I got Die Hard 3. You be kind, motherfucker. Now I have 1, 2, and 3. I'm missing 4 and 5. So, yeah. I hope this is the uncut edition because I haven't seen the uncut edition. Here in Sweden, <clears throat> the only version I've seen is there is one obvious cut in the movie and it is when John McClane is fighting some guy on a boat something bloody happens there apparently so it's just jump cuts it looks really weird so I'm hoping this is the uncut version next up we got now I have all these movies thank god I got the first Terminator movie Fuck you, asshole. So, yeah, I finally got this. This is the... Now, it's got some special features. It's creating the Terminator visual effects. Terminator, a retrospective, and seven terminated scenes. So that's like deleted scenes. Do I even have any extras? Yeah, commentary track, features and TV specials, behind the scenes, alternative endings, interviews and profile, visual effects sequences, and trailers. So, yeah, that's nice. So now I have all the Terminator movies on Blu-ray. That's nice. Next up, we got the... Uh, yeah, what is this? We got Scarface. Okay. Do you want to play rough? Okay. No. Say hello to my little friend! So, yeah. Nice little Al Pacino movie. I think it's his best movie by my standards. So, yeah. This is the Universal 100th Anniversary Anniversary Collectors Series. Blech. Does it have any special features? Uh, there, the Scarface phenomenon. Phenomenon. I can't talk that. <laughs> Deleted scenes. The world of Tony Montana. The rebirth. The acting. The creating. Scarface, the TV version. What the hell is the Scarface TV version? This is like a hev heavily cut version. And they're making a Scarface the video game. Do I got that? I think I got Scarface the video game on PlayStation 2. Next up we got Leonardo DiCaprio, Jennifer Connelly, and... Jimon Hus... That's a really weird name. Jimon Hutton? Can you pronounce that? Jimin, whatever. It's Blood Diamond. Five Oscar nominations. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. I haven't watched this one yet. My girlfriend has, and she says it's really good. I have bought it on DVD before, but I still didn't watch it, so now I got it on Blu ray. So, we gotta watch this one someday. So, special features we got commentary tracks, focus points, scenes from. They. <coughs> they. <coughs> I'm losing my voice. I just did the Halloween special and the other thing and I did Wicked Gaming. So I'm losing my voice here. This is like the fifth video I'm done doing today. Uh, Blood Text Stone. Some feature documentary. How I Became Donny Archer. Meet Leonardo DiCaprio. Journalism on the Front Line. Uh, do, do, do. From Siege of Freetown, Edward Zick tells of the movie's key sequences. And a music video by Shine On... Nos music video Shine On M. And trailers. Yeah. Okay, so next up we got... Two classic horror movies, and that is The Omen 1 and 2. Sadly, they did not have the third one. Like, I bought these for two bucks a piece. If I want to get the third one, I'll have, probably have to pay like ten bucks. That sucks. But, yeah. God damn, there's a lot of special features on the first one, but almost nothing on the second one. So, on the first one, for special features, we got Introduction by Director Richard Donner. Richard Donner made this? Isn't that the guy who made Superman? That's kind of weird career choice. Deleted scenes with commentary, the omen revealed, screenwriter's notebook, and 
an appreciation with Craven on the Omen. Curse or coincidence feature. Jerry Goldsmith discusses the Omen score. Isolated score track. Richard Donner on the Omen. Theatrical trailer, still photo gallery, and the Omen revelations. So, yeah, I have to watch it. I haven't watched a really old movie on Blu ray yet. I don't know how old movies look on Blu-ray, but we'll find out. And uh, of course the Omen 2, but the only special features is here is commentaries, track with director Harvey Bernard, and the trailer. So that's all there is on the second one. So we got two more here, two last ones. We got Quentin Tarantino's Jackie Brown. So, it's been ages since I've seen this one. I have to watch it again. I don't remember anything about this movie. I don't remember if it's good or if it's bad or what. And there are absolutely no special features on this whatsoever. Like, if there is... Kind of movies like this, which I'm like... Maybe it's good, maybe it's bad, eh, I don't know. Those kinds of movies, I don't really care if they're chock full of special features. If they came out with two versions, one with like bareback and one with like a whole disc with extra features, I'd buy the other one if it's cheaper because I don't really watch the special features that much. Unless it's a movie I'm really wanting to see, like The Avengers. <clears throat> I wanted the special edition of that, but to get that, you had to get the Blu-ray 3D version. That's bullshit. So, yeah. And lastly, we got the first Crank movie. With Jason Statham. This is also... Bear Edition. I'm hearing they're maybe coming up with a third one? What the hell are they gonna base that on? Well, Jason Statham is... Currently recording Fast and the Furious 7? Yeah. They keep cranking those movies out and we keep watching them. Like, I enjoyed the... Was it the fifth one where they used the bank vault? With two cars? They pull it out and they drive to throne. I don't know if they... Yeah, I think that's the fifth one. The sixth one I was not that... It uh, wasn't that enjoyable. It was the one with the tank on the freeway and they drive through an airplane. I don't remember that much about it. That tells you how much a movie's worth. So, yeah. Ow. There was a... Th Ow. Did you put needles on the... <laughs> it's a needle. Ow. That's not mine. Oh, that ain't mine. I'll put needles on the table. Why is there chocolate on my crank case here? Anyway, got a nice... I didn't think I would buy many Blu-rays this month. This month? This month. Because I'm focusing more on my video games. But... Uh, I went to a place with my dad called Yula. Where he buys a lot of tools and work pants and everything. And those places usually have like a box with movies. Like uh, like one for six dollars, two for ten. And they were getting rid of all of their movies and games and everything for like 75% off. So I wish I'd gone there sooner to get the whole of their games, but at least I got some Blu-ray movies. Thank God Blu-ray movies aren't that uh, popular yet. So when those kinds of places do have a sale, just like Hemacurl, where I uh, also buy a lot of Blu-ray movies when they have like uh, DVD movies for a dollar and Blu-ray movies for two dollars, I usually pick up a stack there. But the Blu-ray movies don't disappear as fast as the DVD movies because people are still just using their DVD players, so... Yeah. Having a Blu-ray player is really... 
good choice if you want to buy cheap movies, apparently. So, yeah. That's all I have to say for this time. We'll see you next time.